Hello, just a quick overview of how I got my Astro A50s to work properly with my Sound Blaster Z card, which I bought from the interwebs. So when I first tried setting up this headset, I didn't realize that the sound card needed to support DDL or Dolby Digital Live. Um, it has something to do with how they upscale from 5.1 to 7.1 or something like that. Anyway, it's, it's an encoding that the sound card needs to um, support. So I bought a incorrect sound card at first and then I read up on it and saw that the Sound Blaster Z was a well-reviewed card for about a hundred dollars that supported DDL. So anyway, um, after you put the card in the computer and install the drivers or whatever, what you're going to do is you're going to hook up the audio, the digital optical out straight into your A50 receiver and just the USB into the computer. If you've been using it before installing the sound card, you know that that works uh, good enough for like the 2.1 uh, sound. So anyway, after I did that, I could not get it to work. What you're gonna have to do, this is the configuration that I have. Um, first off, you're gonna have to set in the speakers slash headphone section of the menu. Make sure you've got 5.1 surround selected. Um, and in your audio settings, Sorry, while I take a second to bring this up. So in the audio, you can see I have the Astro headset from the wireless transmitter, but that's not in use. I have it set um, as the recording device because I want to use the microphone and that's facilitated over USB. Um, but down here we have, uh, these are the two that showed up when I first installed. This came up, I forget how I got that to show up and I was messing around with stuff and pulling my hair out in frustration. But anyway, so what you're gonna wanna do is, even though it's a little bit counterintuitive, set the speakers on Sound, Blast Sound Blaster Z as the default device. So what this is going to do, if you go back into the control panel here and go to cinematic, you wanna select Dolby Digital Live as the encoder. So what this does when you have the speakers set up as your default device instead of the SPDIF out is it's going to send everything over the, uh, the SPDIF out. Um, as you can see here, I don't, I don't have the uh, aux or anything hooked up. It's just straight into Dolby Digital Live. And um, what it does is basically um, it sends things that are, you know, uh, need to be encoded with Dolby Digital Live to this, but it facilitates the rest through this. I know that doesn't sound very, uh, informative or detail heavy, but I have no, I have no fucking clue how this is working or how this goes on. Um, but anyway, so now I have it hooked up through the SPDIF, not the speakers, but you, uh, but even still, you set the speakers to the default audio device. And um, I'll do a little test here. Just putting... So though, that sound is coming from my A50s. It's doing the surround sound test, and it does do it with surround. Um, just... Uh, Know that you can put all of your audio through the SPDIF, even though it's set to speakers, it will all be going through there. And if something sounds weird and it's not meant for 5.1 or um, above, you just go and you tap this little surround sound button and it goes back to like 2.0 or 2.1 or whatever that is, probably 2.1. Um, so that's how you just quick toggle you know, if something's not optimized and it sounds echoey and weird because it's not doing surround sound correctly, you can just um, cut it off from there. Uh, I didn't have any good success with the uh, crystallizer. I think it sounds kind of tinny and weird. Um, anyway, this is how I got my Astro A50s to finally work. At first I thought it was not going to work, but I realized it was just a little more counterintuitive than I had anticipated. Okay. Enjoy.